All right, so I've been kind of like, uh, well, it's not that I didn't want to do a video on this. It's more like, oh, I guess it really is happening. That, and so I guess I'll talk about it. That was kind of my whole deal with this video, with this subject, because it was like, oh, I guess it's a real thing. Sorry, I had to adjust the chair. <laughs> I guess it's a real thing. I guess I'll fucking talk about it. That was my whole thought process on this whole subject matter. And what subject matter is that exactly? Well, glad you asked. It turns out that we are getting another Hellboy movie called Hellboy the Crooked Man. And yeah, because we did so good the last reboot. Um, the ha and it, oh boy, it gets better because this movie will be helmed by Ghost Rider 2's director. And also from the uh, from some writers from some re other really bad movies. Wonderful, just wonderful. I'm I'm so happy that. It, but I will say that there is like a little hope. There is like a little hope because this time around Mike Mignola is apparently writing, helping to write the script. So I will give it that. Now, a couple things. This will be called Hellboy: The Crooked Man, which is a. Apparently, it's going to be loosely based off of one of the short stories, um, and I say loosely based, and this film will be more of a folk horror kind of story. Like, it will be like a something along the lines of The Witch, but with Hellboy in it, which, in fairness, is like, that's a Hellboy story, of it, like a Hellboy one-and-done story in of itself. Like, there's no, like, world-ending stuff, there's no other things it's just from what it sounds like it just sounds like hellboy going on an adventure and i really do wish we had more superhero movies like that where it's not so much an origin story or a world ending event it's just we're following an adventure with um with this character the only film i can really think on who did that that wasn't a sequel was dread that's really how I, uh, like, that's really it. And the, the Batman, where it's like, yeah, we're going, and it didn't feel like a big superhero kind of thing until the end, but it was more like, we're just going on an adventure with this character. Like, I like that. I wish we got more movies like that, where it, it kind of involved, it, it, it like became the comic arc in that it's just, we're going on an adventure with this character. There's no major high stakes. I mean, there are stakes, but they're not like world-ending stakes. It's more like, here we are. We're doing this adventure. Um, cool. And I, I know that doesn't make sense, but I'm trying to, so I'm trying to put this in a way that does make sense in that it's not like some big world-ending, like, MacGuffin thing. It's more like we're just having this story, this character, going around doing this story. Like he's like he or she is just going on this this little like I wouldn't say world building, but more like they're just in this world and they're going on their own little adventure on their own, like something of that nature. Like I, Dread kind of embodied that best, where it's like we're just going on a typical mission with uh, with uh, Judge Dread and, and uh, Anderson, and yeah, that's our story. It just. Uh, it, it's just something like that, you know what I mean? So I do like the idea of Hellboy being like this folk horror kind of story, because again, Hellboy is very much horror. Um, Hellboy is, as all, for all intents and purposes, has been and always will be a horror comic. Although I do stand by a very, uh, a very kind of like uh, argumentative point in that Hellboy can be a great intro book for kids. Um, I've had several of my friends kind of agree with me on that, but I've seen some people be like, Hellboy is just a little too dark for children. I'm like, it's no dark, Hellboy is no dark, Hellboy comics are no darker than, um, Nightmare, if you can handle Nightmare Before Christmas or Gremlins as a kid, you can handle Hellboy as a kid. That's, that's how I really felt about it, was that it was like, if you could handle those, then you can handle this. You could, if you could handle this, then you can handle that. You can't. Okay, I. Sorry, I, I, I thought of that Fat Boy Slim song. <laughs> so of a uh, weapon of choice. I'm sorry. I thought of weapon of choice, and then it it just spiraled into a shtick. I'm sorry. Um. But yeah, what doesn't instill me with confidence is that this is um, this is a reboot again, and we're dealing with people who don't get the source material, or if they do, it's really bad. 
because Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance was pretty bad. It was it was pretty bad. I actually now, in fairness, I did like the Ghost Rider design a little more than um, than the movie than the first movie Ghost Rider. I did enjoy that go the Spirit of Vengeance Ghost Rider design because it was like a Ghost Rider that was very much inspired by the artwork by Clayton Kane. So I, I really did like that design for Ghost Rider. Um, and it does lead to speculation as... But the rest of that movie is just so bad. It is it is so bad. And the people behind this have done, like... Um, who are doing Hellboy the Crooked Man clearly are more action-based, and I've never seen them do a full core in my life. In fairness, I always try to play devil's advocate for everything. And, uh, um, so... In fairness, you know, we all thought Peyton Reed would suck as a director for more, like, he's, like, we went from Edgar Wright, the guy behind the Cornetto trilogy, and we're doing Peyton Reed, whose biggest thing at the time was bring, was the Bring It On movies, and now he's doing the Ant-Man trilogy, and is also directing episodes of The Mandalorian and several other Star Wars projects, and clearly wants to do a Star Wars project in himself. So I'm just saying, like, sometimes the body of work can be either, like, even though a lot of movies can be bad from this person. That doesn't mean they have the capacity to not make a good movie. But everyone has a capacity to make a good movie. It just depends on the team. So the fact that Mignola, Mike Mignola is now directly working with this group specifically is interesting because he didn't want any... It's it, Like, the more you hear about it, the more he didn't want a lot to do with Neil Marshall and Dave Harbour's film, which really sucks because that movie had everything. My favorite director, one of my favorite storylines from Hellboy. Um, Dave Harbour as Hellboy. We're getting an R rating. It was it was all like it was it, to quote um, Homelander. It was perfect, absolutely perfect. So it it astonishes me that it shit the bed so hard. So that's why my hopes aren't that high for this film. And that also leaves the question of who are we going to get to play Hellboy? It's probably not going to be Ron Perlman. It sure as hell isn't going to be Dave Harbour. He ain't going back to that. After the bad experiences he had, yeah, that's that's not going to happen. So, yeah, that leaves up the question, who could we get for Hellboy? No, I, I have personally no idea. I know some people have said Dave Bautista for Hellboy, but, like, I'm sure we can find somebody else. Um, not to say Dave Bautista's bad. I'm just saying, like, I, he doesn't strike me as Hellboy. But, yeah... So I just wanted to give my... Th uh, could this movie be good? Yeah, every movie has the capacity to be good. I've been shocked a few times of movies I thought were going to be bad and turned out to be really fucking awesome. So this could be... This could be one of those cases where I think the movie's going to be bad and then it's going to be... It turned out to be pretty good. Or at the very least, like, hmm, that was better than I expected. Not great, but not bad. Like, better than the, re than the last remake. So, you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of Hellboy the Crooked Man? Um, are you guys excited, or are you guys not? And who do you think would pl good, be good to play Hellboy in here? Um, just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this. Oh, for a fun one, what other storylines um, for Hellboy could you see work as movies? Personally, I'd like to see them do the Japan arc, or at least some of the stories involving, like, sort of storms, but do that in live action, I think that'd be really fun. Um, or, or the new one, The Bone of Giants, which I heard is one of the best Hellboy. I haven't read it yet, so, yeah. But I re uh, um, I've heard it's one of the best Thor story. I mean, um, Hellboy stories. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.